Hello everybody, this is cnbweb.com and we would like to review our plugin called Auto Banner, uh, which takes banners from default Joomla banners component and puts it automatically to articles depending on articles paragraphs. So you need default Joomla installation version 1.5 default uh, banners component which is also installed by default and the uh, auto banner plugin which you can download straight from enbweb.com website download section so let's say that you have already installed the plugin so let's go straight to plugin parameters okay Paragraph uh, dividers. It is how the paragraphs are divided. Usually, HTML tags like uh, new paragraph tag P, uh, new line tag BR, or sometimes the combination of both tags uh, is used at the same time. Also, you can input your own tags separated uh, by comma. While selecting the best combinations of tags, you have to pay attention to your text, uh, uh, how it is formatted, uh, is there any read more tags or some additional um, tags or CSS styles that can be used for dividing paragraphs. and. Uh, Sometimes such tags or styles can cause some unexpected results, so you have to pay attention to it. So, okay, so next uh, param is select paragraphs. So you can select paragraph where you want your banner should be inserted. So let's take a closer look. <coughs> uh, here will be the first paragraph before the text um, uh, here will be the second paragraph uh, after words content right and the third paragraph will be uh, after word system coast and so on If your text has only one paragraph and you selected, let's say, third paragraph or fourth paragraph, um, so nothing will happen, of course. Uh, okay, next is uh, top banner divider and bottom banner divider. It is used to make some space around the banner, so you can input HTML tags uh, in these fields to make some additional space. So we can put two additional lines with tags BR and um, these lines from top and from bottom. Now we can try how it works. So let's choose first second and okay third paragraph and save it uh, refresh it and here we go uh, of course uh, how I said sometimes you might not get the expected results because of text formatting tags so you have to pay attention to your text formatting and paragraph so how we selected in params so the banner appeared in first paragraph in second and in third paragraphs okay banner clients so we can choose clients and uh, also categories 
that your banners are associated with. So at the moment, okay, at the moment we have uh, three categories uh, and uh, one client. Uh, so you can add uh, new values that will appear in uh, plugins list. And uh, other nice feature is uh, sticky ordering and sticky randomize options. Uh, your banners can be ordered at uh, one by one or randomized in articles, but don't forget that uh, you have to select sticky option in banner options. Here we go, sticky, and you have to change this value to yes. If sticky option is not selected, so nothing will happen. Okay. And also you can select content sections and categories where you want your banners to appear. So let's say you would like your banners to show up in news section and news section have uh, uh, some other categories which you can also select. And the last param in advanced parameters tab is banners on front page option so you might want or you might not want to show up your banners on front page so you can simply change this option so let's try save and refresh our page here we go so we have a mess here because banners do not fit the template so it's better to turn this feature off this time okay refresh okay so we don't have here any banners but we still have banners here okay so that's it so download it use it change it by your needs and uh, if you have any comments questions suggestions feel free to contact us at admin.com so thank you for watching good luck